welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are going to look at two free stamp sets. Um, part of my story and lovely lattice. Now these stamp sets you can get absolutely free with um, an order of £45. So if you're looking at putting an order in, these are two lovely stamp sets that you can work with. One's all of the sayings and one is a beautiful floral image. And we're going to use the, both of these today. So let's take um, a piece of Whisper White cardstock which is um, it's heavy whisper white and it is five and a quarter inches by three and a half inches and we are going to put the lattice image down onto a large block the block is a or a one of the larger blocks which is a e block and we need a good black ink so we're going to ink this up. We're not going to ink the lattice part up, but we're going to ink the top part. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the corner like that. Turn the card stock round, ink it up. You do have a little bit of the lattice showing, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't really matter. And we are then going to put one in the other corner, like that. We're then going to take, this is an absolutely lovely image. You can colour it in so many ways and spend lots of time doing that. This one we're going to do fairly quickly. And um, so it's not going to take a huge amount of time. Um, you can decoupage these, you can cut them out um, and, and build them up. Um, as I say, you can spend hours and hours in colouring them, which is beautiful. And when you've got time to do that, that's lovely. But also, if you don't have time, you want to sometimes do a card that is going to be quite quick. So this way, um, we can actually do it quite quickly. So um, that's our floral image on there. And this is going to be a simple one layer card. So it's going to be suitable for anybody who is um, an avid crafter and has been crafting a long time or somebody who is a beginner because all you have to do is to stamp it on four corners like that. And then you have a beautiful image. Now, the colouring. When you're beginning, sometimes with colouring, you think, oh my goodness, I couldn't even imagine doing any of this. So... All we're going to use is our aqua painter and we're going to use three colours. We're going to use Daffodil Delight, Mint Macaron and Flirty Flamingo. Any pinky flowery colour, yellow middle colour and green colour will work. So whatever three stamps you've got, um, ink pads you've got that will work, um, use them. So we need to take one of the blocks and we're just going to take... A little bit of this colour and put it on a block okay you will need a piece of um, kitchen roll and um, you only need that amount of ink to do the whole of the image so we need to just add a little drop of water to it because we want it to be fairly uh, what I call loose so fairly wet um, and so that the colour isn't too intense and then we are literally just going to wash. Now, washing is just that. You don't have to be overly precise on the edges. You're just literally going round on the flower and giving it a wash of colour. And then on to the next one. And sometimes you'll have enough ink in the aqua painter that you've picked up so you can get different colour tones out of this one colour so we've got a fairly strong pink with the first one and we've got a slightly paler one with the second one taking it through onto the next one and as you can see this is very quick to do it's not something that's going to take you a long time or concern you if you're worried about colouring in an image um, it's just something that will um, 
just give you let's have a little bit more on this one so pick up a little bit more of the color and literally we are washing so you don't have to worry overly about the corners and the edges um, just take it sort of up and round and each little flower you're going to do the same thing but you can see that this whole process will only take you a couple of minutes um, and you can see I'm not doing it um, I'm not spending a huge amount of time turn it around if you want to and I'm literally just picking up this color um, flirty flamingo is quite a bright color if you stamp it but if you use it like this as a wash it becomes quite a lovely pale pink color which works perfectly on these little flowers so we're nearly finished with it have we got we've got um, one little tiny bit of one down in there that's it oh no we've missed one up in the corner so let's just do this one okay so that's that done now to clean this again just take your kitchen roll um, and just clean that block off and with your aqua painter just literally clean your brush off a little bit so that it comes through clear so you're not transposing it onto the next color okay so the next color we're going to use is mint macaron um, again any green that you might have you can use and we're going to do exactly the same thing so we're going to take the ink pad uh, the block pick up just a little bit of color and just put it on there and then again just take a little bit of water on there so it's quite nice and wet and um, loose so it's not a strong color and I would start with some of the larger leaves so again you are not spending a huge amount of time doing this you're literally just washing it through because it's going to give that watercolor look you don't have to spend a huge amount of time it's just adding a little bit of color on and just taking out where there's a leaf just putting a little blob of color on there so turn it round if you want to but you can see even on these pieces on here I'm not spending a huge amount of time I'm not worrying whether it goes exactly inside the lines or not there's a little bit here which comes down from the stem little leaf underneath there um, that's that on that one turn it round on here do the same um, and again don't um, don't worry or spend a huge amount of time it's literally just washing um, I think doing a wash is a lovely way of coloring something in when you don't want to spend a huge amount of time in doing it and I know sometimes as I say using um, some of our coloring mediums and things and thinking oh my goodness this is going to take me an hour or so to color if you've got time in an evening and you're sitting down watching the television and you think oh actually I really want to do some coloring you can do that but you can see you can achieve a really simple look like this now we are just going to add a little bit more into the center of each one of these little flowers um, to just give it a little pop of yellow because the stamens and the inside of this I think probably would be um, in yellow so we're using daffodil delight but again any yellow that you might have and um, again we're just tapping this on and you can see I have used three different styles of ink pads all stamping up but all over the ages so you can use as I say whatever colors you might have and then all we're going to do is to just literally run a little bit of yellow just through on the center so picking it up as you go running it just through and again not spending a huge amount of time it's just a wash and a wash is just something which is just very light and subtle so now you have a really pretty background um, with all of the flowers and things in so let me just clean this little block off and we've just used the three colors um, now what we need to do is we need to do a sentiment so let me just turn this piece oh I've got bits on that side as well um, I'm going to take that out of the way because we don't need it now um, just scratch paper so it doesn't um, mucky my work surface 
we are going to take a sentiment now. Now, you can put the sentiment on the block and stamp it in. I am going to use the Stamparatus. The only reason I use this all the time for sentiments and things is that when you spent time, um, and I know we haven't spent a huge amount of time on this particular one, but if you have spent a lot of time in colouring something in, the last thing you want to do is to muck up putting the sentiment down. The Stamparatus allows you to do it again and again. So I'm just going to make sure that's where I want it in the centre. Um, I think I might actually move it across. So let me just clean this up. And um, the sentiment we're using is from the um, other celebration stamp set. So as I say, you can have a beautiful floral one and this lovely part of my story. And any of these sentiments would go for an awful lot of things. I like, know that a friend is thinking of you. I'm so glad you're part of my story. Let's get together and giggle. The world needs more people like you. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. And you're my chosen family. So some lovely sentiments that are slightly more unusual, which is nice. Um, we all have happy birthdays. We all have... Uh, um, you know, thank yous and things like that. And it's nice to have something that's a little bit different. And I'm going to just put it just about there, I think. Now, I don't know whether that's straight or not. So when I pick it up, I can turn it over. And as you can see, it's not straight. But the grid line allows me to just ease it so I can get it completely straight. And you can take this off as well. The hinge is just amazing. It's the only stamp positioning tool that has these removable hinges and they are so useful. So I'm going to ink this up once, put it down where I want it, press it lightly, pick it up again. And um, I'm going to do it a couple of times because I want it quite dark. But the trick is don't press it down too hard when you're doing it several times because otherwise you can get it... Um, just a little bit too um, deeply impressioned, if you see what I mean. So the actual word then becomes a little bit more sort of foggy. So, um, right, I'm not going to clean that one off now, but I will do. But that then gives us the lovely sentiment on there. So let's just move the Stamparators out of the way. And the last thing we need to do is we need to coordinate this onto the card base. So for this one, I have got a um, a white card base. I like using white, as you know, because um, I think it allows things to stand out. You can use the coloured card stock um, and that looks lovely as well. And I'm just taking a piece of the mint macaron. So that teams up with the mint macaron. And I'm just going to put this on here like that. So then you have a beautiful one layered image with just a little mat on there uh, which I think look absolutely lovely you can put some ribbon around it you can put some twine you can add some embellishments you can bring it up um, you could fussy cut one of those out decoupage it up you can do all sorts but as a one layer simple easy card it's taken me no time at all and all we've used are the two Totally free stamp sets, lovely lattice and part of my story. So some lovely floral images and lots of sentiments. Um, a great start for anybody. And these are totally free with a £45 order. So if you order some cardstock and some paper and um, some inks and things, you can choose one of these for free. So thank you so much for watching me and do look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.